Hey everyone, it's the Penny Pinching Prepper here and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are making it here for the first time, glad you could do so. I hope you stick around and subscribe. Uh, today I'm just going to do a really quick video. Um, been working on something, uh, a fire kit for somebody and um, I came up with this thing and I'm sure there's different versions of it on the on the internet, but I was just curious uh, to what you guys think of my version and if it's something you, the people at home, would be willing or interested in learning how to make. <clears throat> so I'm a little choppy today. Forgive me, it's rusty. I haven't been on here in a minute. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. So uh, what I made was a little sparker. All right, and I know it doesn't look like much, but I was trying to think of a easier, faster way, you know, that you can um, do like flint and steel type thing on char cloths, um, but uh, while your hands are still cold, when you know, when the fine motor skills ain't working so well. Um, so I went ahead and made this, and there's a couple of small features. Um, I went and blocked off the top and I cut out the back all the way like that so it would direct the sparks all in one direction instead of, you know, shooting out in all directions and not having uh, an easy way to concentrate the sparks. Um, I cut it in half so I could actually ship this uh, without being any questions and then I took the bottom off and actually made a cork. Um, where did it go? Oh, there it is. So, uh, in the bottom, I was actually able to roll up and put about, oh, I don't know, somewhere between four and six pieces of char cloth up in there for emergencies. And then the little cork just pushes on and it actually stays on there pretty good, um, especially since it's got that little bit of gasket going on so that it, you know, seals a little better. But it's not just going to knock off, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. <clears throat> and then I just uh, wrapped some duct tape around it um, to give you a little something more to hold on to. Um, and, you know, of course, duct tape makes a good uh, fire starter, or you can also use it for, you know, anything else, patching, binding, whatever. You have it on hand. There's about three feet on there. So, just to show you how easy this thing works, I am going to take a little piece of char cloth here, right? And so, the way it works is you can fold it in half you don't have to fold it in half but you literally just stick it right in the mouth there like that and you spark Oop. not getting it there we go so i had to have it in there well or maybe it just doesn't like to be on that edge maybe it needs to be on the actual frayed edge but as you can see it it does pretty good let's uh, actually test that theory because that was the first time I actually ever folded it in half and that was actually the hardest time I ever had lighting it so here's actually two pieces of char cloth and we just stick it in there and strike there we go as you can see there's two different spots starting up it did catch the first time I just didn't see it but literally that simple to to use and then of course you can just put your char cloth in your tender and blow it into a flame so uh guys what do you think um there's a little more work to it than you know just the things i pointed out that had to be done but if you're interested in learning how to make one of these Please do me a favor, get down below, leave me some comments, um, thumbs up. I'm not going to take as, as you uh, actually want me to show you how to make it. Um, so uh, get down below, leave a comment, let me know if this is something you'd like to learn how to make. Um, like I said, I'm keeping this a short video. 
So at the end of the day, that's still going good, right? Good old char cloth. Um, at the end of the day, if uh, you guys need something more simple than getting out there with your uh, than with your flint and steel, um, which especially when your hands are cold can be rather difficult to even create one little spark. Um, please let me know. Um, I know I'm just repeating myself, but I think that's really one of the more unique little inventions I've come up with or, you know, remakes or whatever you want to consider it. So guys, remember at the end of the day, God's good and God bless.